Well, there were unprecedented scenes in state parliament overnight with rowdy gay rights activists forcibly removed from the public gallery. Their exit was followed by another bombshell with the Newman government announcing plans to strip surrogacy rights from gay and some de facto couples and also singles. The civil unions debate became rather uncivil. Can do, doing just what he said he'd do. It is about extinguishing order, rights. Order those civil rights. partnerships to become those instead registered rights. relationships with no state-sanctioned civil ceremony. Marriage should be between a man and a woman. We're not bloody animals, we're human <laughs> Security, please remove that man from the, from the gallery. These are people with concerns. These are people with compassion. The protesters were removed, then came the bombshell. And we will be amending the Surrogacy Act to repeal the provisions with respect to same-sex couples. A bombshell that's also a backflip. It means gay couples, single people and newly formed de facto couples will be unable to use surrogate mothers. Changes Campbell Newman ruled out before the election. We're not making any changes to the laws on those matters. Uh, it wasn't a single biggest issue in the campaign. We very much were concentrating on the cost of living pressures being felt right across Queensland. This is a mean and tricky government. Civil libertarians argue it's now clear that Campbell Newman's real opposition isn't Labor. Instead, it's Campbell Newman's own backbench. This is the, the Premier throwing a bone to the more extreme elements in the LNP. The extreme elements on show last night, the real shame, according to the government. To make the police forcibly remove people from the public gallery, I think, is uh, a situation we never want to see in Queensland Parliament again. For Wilmington, 9 News.